autism, which we haven't done one in a while for Life is Trail Running. I don't know, maybe we just haven't had a ton to talk about. We've been busy, what can I say? I wanna to talk today about shoes. Back in March this past year, we ran at Highland Forest, and that's one of the episodes out there. What everyone I don't think was aware of was that I had twisted my ankle my left ankle really badly to the point that when I did it, it kind of made a crunchy grinding sound. And since then, I, it's been an issue all season. I'll be good for a while and then I'll roll it again. And then I'll roll it a couple of times and it'll be harder to recover from it. So I kind of started thinking about what changed. I, I'm not one to roll my ankles when I run. So what have I done differently or what am I wearing differently or training? differently and I kind of narrowed it down to my ultra lone peaks love them they are a fantastic shoe but for me they almost seem a little too loose inside that I can't get my foot to stop sliding left and right while I have them tightened and they just seem to roll so quickly so if I step the tread's kind of hard and rugged, which is great, but it just seems that then it makes my foot easily roll. Didn't know what I was gonna do and thought, well, let me try something different. I've run in ultras for three years now. I absolutely love them, but I thought, well, let me, let me try something new. What I decided to try was a pair of Topos, and I couldn't remember the full name, so I, I had to look them up here on the laptop. I tried the Topo Terra Venture 2. And I have a little bit of footage of what they look like here quickly. Here they are. They're really, really light. I was surprised when I took them out of the box how light they actually were. These are a little snug, so that's the other thing I wanna try to see if these stretch out at all or if I need to go up to a nine and a half. But I guess we'll find out running in them. They were different. They were not bad by any means. I can tell you that my first impressions, took them out of the box, put them on. They seemed okay. They have a three millimeter drop, which normally I, I don't run with a drop, but I didn't even notice the drop. That, that wasn't you know anything to notice. They reminded me of a pair of Merrells I had years ago that I used to hike in. They were fine. They seemed to fit okay. Okay, um, what I did notice first off putting them on my feet was the front third of my foot was ice cold in about 10 minutes and my feet are never cold. I mean, I, I'll go out in the winter and splash through icy water puddles and my feet aren't cold. So I thought that was a little odd. I had put them on to go over to Green Lakes to run and not even halfway to Green Lakes the front third of my foot was just ice cold and I, I couldn't figure out why. But once I got running, uh, they did eventually warm up. They seemed okay. They were um, grippy. I wouldn't say they were better than my Ultras. I'm not a big fan of the Vibram outsole and these have Vibram outsole. So they seemed a little bit slipperier than my Lone Peaks, but they were fine. It was an okay run. The only thing I noticed when I got done is on my right foot, the upper part of the tongue was pushing down so hard that it bruised my second toe in. But I thought maybe I just had to break them in a little bit. So then I decided the next day to go out, run them again, try them out, see what I think. And that was a Hamilton run that we did. Again, by the time I got done, my toe was so sore and now it actually like scraped the skin off my toe that I, I didn't even want to put shoes on after that. And what I had noticed after the first five mile run is on each side of the shoe where the toe box is, some of the like mesh or fabric was already starting to fray and rip out. And I don't rub my feet together when I run. It looked like that. It looked like you were rubbing it. 
What I think was happening was my feet are a lot wider than those shoes were. And I think my feet were pushing so hard on the outsides that it was already wearing on the mesh and the stitching and the fabric on top. So I wasn't real happy with that. Uh, I gave it a couple days, let my toe, you know, kind of heal up a little bit and thought, well, okay, maybe, maybe this time 15 miles on, it'll be good. I go out, I do another five miles. I was just done in two miles. I didn't want them on my feet anymore. And I had noticed that my feet were really fatigued after running in those. So I had about a week and a half where anytime I got up to walk, my feet just ached. They felt sore, they felt tired, and it just didn't seem to be working for me. So Topo is wonderful. They have a 30 day, try it, you don't like it, send it back guarantee, which is what I did. I sent them back because they're just not gonna work for me. I would definitely recommend that if you don't have a wide foot, if you can get your hands on a pair of Topos, I would recommend trying them. I think that they are a good shoe. You just have to have the right foot for them. But all shoes work that way. I know that people love ultras. People love hokas. It just depends on your foot and what fits you best. So I sent those back and I decided to go back to the ultra superiors. I have the 3.5 version and I've been wearing them for a year and a half, running on the trail, running on the road. And I really do like them. There were some improvements that they needed to make, obviously, but I thought I would get the new ones, the ultra superior four. I bought those, they got delivered uh, maybe four days ago. Oh my gosh, best way I can describe it is heavenly. They are everything that I could have wanted in a running shoe for the trail. The grip on them is as grippy as a Lone Peak. They are so fantastic. They're comfortable, they're flexible, they're wide enough, my feet aren't cold in them. I mean, I, I've always had good luck with ultras, but these, the newer version of the ultra superior, the fours are just so fantastic that tomorrow, Cyber Monday, ultra's having a sale on their website and I'm gonna go buy another two pair just so I have them for like the next year to year and a half because they're amazing. The difference I noticed with the Lone Peaks versus the Superior is the Superior, I have so much more ground feel and so much more control of my foot. I started running about six years ago on the trail, and when I did, I did all minimal. I did the Merrill Finger Glove, the Vibram Five Finger, the um, New Balance Minimus. So everything I've ever run on the trail have been almost like you're barefoot. And I love it. I've never rolled an ankle. I've never stubbed a toe. I've never injured myself. And it's really, really comfortable for me. I don't like a lot of padding. I don't like a lot of cushioning. But even with that being said, these superiors are fluffy feeling inside, but it still allows me to have control. So if you haven't tried the Ultra Superiors 4, I would highly, highly recommend it if you have a wider foot. If you don't have a wide foot, then I would definitely check out the Topos. Just so you know, the snowstorm that we were supposed to get starting around noon has started and it's 11.15. So I'm not excited about that. They're saying possibly two inches an hour and up to 20 inches of snow in total. I don't wanna have to clean that. Yeah, the road's already snow covered. It's been snowing for five minutes. I hope this, whoa, hey, where'd you come from? I just materialized out of the snow. Oh, wow, you're like a magical little snow person. Yeah. Well, it's nice for you to join us. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you found this informative. Uh, if you have any questions about the Topos or about Ultra Lone Peak or Ultra Superior, comment below and let me know. I would definitely be happy to answer your questions. I would recommend trying the Topos, like I said, if you have a narrow foot or if you have a wider foot, I would try the Ultra Superior 4.0. I couldn't say enough nice things about the Ultra Superior 4.0. Uh, they've changed their lacing system, they changed the tongue inside, they've changed the material, they have drain holes. And they're yellow, so they make you look like you're running faster. 
Is that true? Yeah. Do like, I look like I'm flying like in them? flames coming off your feet. And I think I have a quick clip here of the Ultra Superior 4.0 for you to check out. <laughs> And we're back. Wow. Yeah. How did he do that? You know what? I don't know. I, I don't even want to know how he did that. But like I said, comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this has been helpful. And oh, I was going to say run the dirt first, but you know, subscribe, like, hit us up on DMs, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Life is Trail Running. And now, run the dirt. Run the dirt. And the snow. Um, run the snow if you want. Ah, bye. bye. Oh, did did I miss her in the background? No, I didn't miss that.